Hello, Pisces. Hello to all of the Pisces out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This is your reading for the second week in July. This reading is for all of the Pisces out there. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the second week in July. If you are returning, you are welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome to Visions of Light and Love. If the reading does not resonate with your situation, check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign videos. Cross watchers are welcome as well. If you like my energy, my vibe, you connect with this reading, you want to show some support, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, hit that thumbs up image. If you need a private reading, the link is to the email is in the description box. However, I do have two slots open for a free reading to be considered for the free reading. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment in the comment section. Check out the community section of this channel as well. I am doing some giveaways for, well, I have a giveaway for one lucky subscriber and viewer. I'm going to be using a Celtic cross spread for this reading. Okay. All right. So, first card out is the Two of Wands from my Pisces. What is this? Okay. The Temperance card. Sagittarius energy. Past energy, the Page of Wands. This could be your energy, your partners. Apply it as it fits to your story. All right, why is this page of wands here? Three of swords. What's on your mind at this time? The fool card. Your immediate future. Ten of wands. You fear the knight of cups. That's your energy. Okay, you have the page of wands here as well. And let's see, what are you hoping for? Okay, a magician. And let's see, what's your outcome? What is the outcome? Okay, you have the ace of pentacles and the eight of wands wanted to come out, so I'm going to take them both. So you are waiting to make a decision you're waiting to you're waiting for an opportunity to make this decision that will balance something out for you. That will balance something out for you. Yeah, this decision will, is going is going to also require you to have patience, to do things in moderation, to consider other people's feelings. In the page with the page of wands. I'm still seeing a decision. You could be researching something at this time. Wanting to take a risk. This was past energy. Wanting to take some type of risk but being conflicted about it. Being up in your head, feeling like you are, um, like, I would say this would be um, a head over heart decision. Feeling as if you are, your heart is tied to somewhere, but your mind is somewhere else. If that makes sense. Yeah, like your body, your heart is tied to a place or a person, and you're 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 stuck there. With this fool card, Aries, Aquarius energy. Yeah, see, there's something that you want to do. You want to take a risk and do something. You want to take your possibly with this Ten of Wands. There, you may want to move, but you have a lot of baggage. 
you may be pulling all of the weight yourself. Tired, you're tired, you're, you're tired, feeling bogged down, feeling like you're carrying the baggage by yourself. You fear that with that Knight of Cups that you're not going to get the offer that you want. The offer that you would love. You fear that it's not going to come through and it's because you, you have not taken action towards it. And I don't know why I'm keep hearing the word time. Like it, it may not, it may not be the right time. Divine timing. You're manifesting it still though. Um, Virgo Capricorn's energy. Yeah, you're manifesting a new beginning. And you want it to come in quickly. This is something you want to happen quickly, but it may not be the right time. It's from what I see. So I am going to see... I don't see a, your partner here, but I feel their energy. So, whatever is going on with you as far as this decision that needs to be made, you are, this is something that you are thinking about on your own. Your partner may not know that this is on your mind. You may, ha may not have discussed this with them. This, you may have not, may have not discussed your feelings may not have <laughs> i don't know why i can't speak but yeah that's what i'm seeing like this is something that you're going through alone mentally all right let's see what's going on with your partner partner pisces energy okay the hermit virgo's energy is here could be dealing with the virgo where someone has virgo in their chart the seven of pentacles and the five of cups <clears throat> so someone has stopped putting in the work stop working on something that caused them some type of disappointment or they want wanted to it's from that's what i'm seeing like your partner may have Stop putting in the work that they needed to because there's some type of disappointment. Some type of regret. They could be crying over spilled milk. Your partner may have stopped working on this to take a time out to reflect on what it is that they want to do. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Your partner is took a step back to reflect on what it is that they can do to to um grow something. And that's gonna bring in more money, um, something that's more tangible, like something that will be an increase and grow. Yeah, they want to have this new passion of beginning, doing something that they love, but there's a decision on the table. What is this decision? Okay. Again, focusing on their finances. Conflicted because they're, they, they're given to too many people. Could be giving money out to too many people. And it's causing some type of financial instability. And that's what your person is conflicted about because they want to stop doing something that they've been working on, but they don't want to regret it later. Yeah. And this has been a long journey for them. But I feel like with the Sun card, Leo's energy, there's some clarity coming through. So 
for your partner to work on something else, doing something that they love. There's an offer coming, coming through for them to have a second chance. It'll balance out the finances, but there's some waiting time. They have to wait for the, for the right opportunity. And what is the outcome? Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, see, this, your partner's thinking about money. Stability, they know their worth. I feel like your person needs to open up. Open up or else it's going to take forever. This financial stability that they're looking for is going to take forever to come in if they don't open up. Open up your mind, open up your heart. Or it's going to take a long time to balance out the situation. It's going to require them to have strength and courage to tap into a new, something new. Mm-hmm. And they're going to have to take action. Yep. And move towards what it is that they love to do. Yep. All right, so let's get some love oracle cards out here. So I see you both are trying to work on something, but your partner's focus is money right now. How can I balance out this money? Trying to gain the clarity that they need to figure out what it is, what exactly is it that they want to do? That's what your partner's energy is. soulmates so you two can have this could be a marriage a soul contract yes yeah, stable their security stability and room for growth but it needs to transform it needs to transform yep lightning in order for the change that you both want to come in it's time for this to um transform There could be some type of, um, we could be, and here go this clock. I knew this clock was coming out. Divine timing. I knew it. I felt it. I felt it. It's not the right time. So, I feel like you need to reflect on you both. But I'll say you, since this is your reading, Pisces, it's not the right time for you to make a move or a change don't take that risk yet allow your partner time to um figure out figure out what it is that they want to do and then come back together to um what's the word i'm looking for to discuss this um this situation again so you won't feel all alone so i'm gonna leave it at that this your, is your reading pisces for the second week in july comment below let me know if this is your story share like subscribe hit the notification bell be safe i'm sending you love light peace and healing energy check out the community section of this channel i am doing some giveaways and um enjoy the rest of your week don't forget to comment below, like this video, and subscribe to be considered for a free reading. Bye.